Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-ray tutorial, we are going to learn about the test case organization and we have understood about the test sets already. Now, in order to organize test cases, there is a test repository concept in Jira X-ray as well. And if you're coming from a legacy test management tools, for example, HP ALM, you will see that this particular structure is very handy for the people who want to see that structure. Now, there is a bit of difference between the test sets and test repository and mostly you will be using both right so test set definitely you will be using and even in the test repository you will be using a combination of both you need to understand where to use what right so test repository is more of a hierarchical or hierarchical structure of folder like, like structure and when you are using the test repository you can't add a test case multiple times in multiple folders okay that's the first thing in test sets so for example your test case belongs to a regression test set then it can also belong to some other test set as well okay but in repository that we are going to discuss now your test case can only remain in one particular folder okay so it's more of multiple capabilities and features to organize your test case now let's see how we are going to create the test repository in x-ray so if you go to the project so say for example this is the project that we are working for okay and in the planning in this particular left hand side menu you will see that you have the testing board okay this is from the x-ray all right so simply click on the testing board and it will open the testing x-ray testing board okay with all the capabilities and functionalities so let it load and you will see that the test repository for this particular project is automatically available here okay now this is the root folder you can't delete it but you can create multiple different folder or folder hierarchy within this particular root folder right the test repository now test repository is basically for each and every project it, you will get it if you have enabled x-ray right now, when we talk about the test repository, it's more of organizing your test case in the folder structure. So whenever you are doing a project, you will have a epic, which is kind of a high level functionality, right? Within the epic, you have, we will have multiple stories. So one way to organize your test case in test repository is to organize your test cases based on specific feature. Say, for example, we are testing an e-commerce application. So what I'll do is to create a repository. I'll click on this plus button here. To create a new folder okay so say for example all the login functionality okay so based on the feature so login is one of the feature okay so i'll say login feature all right or simply or even don't put the feature name there just just say login so login is the feature name okay so all the test cases that belong to login functionality can be added here in the login folder okay now similarly we'll say registration then say checkout and then say for example payments okay so these are logical functionalities or the functionalities that need to be built in your application right so now when you are writing test cases for any of the stories that belong to the login epic or functionality you can add those test cases in this particular folder you can also create a child folder say for example within the login there are multiple sub functionalities as well say for example logging in with so if you want to create a child folder, simply select the folder that within which you want to create a child folder. So you'll see that login is now highlighted. If I'll click on plus this plus button here and we'll say login using Google account, right? So this is another sub function within the login. You'll see that this Google folder has been created below login folder. Now again, I want to create using email login using email so any of the test cases which are relevant to the google or the email can go in the subfolders here now so this is how you are going to create the test repository but you have to make sure when you're creating a test repository if a test case has been added into the google folder say for example okay then you can't add the same test case into the email folder okay that's the difference between the test set and the repository and there are many other differences which we'll cover as as we go along so this is how you are going to create the test repository okay folder and also the hierarchy of if the parent and child hierarchy you're looking for okay now in order to add the test cases what you have to do is you have to say for example let me minimize this okay so here if you see this particular message here to fill up so this folder is empty right in order to fill it up you simply have to drag and drop the test or you create a new test here okay so how you can drag and drop so basically let's say if we say switch to flat view right so at the moment this is different view if we switch to flat view let's see what what is the difference in the flat view? 
right okay so let's go ahead and add the test cases all right let me minimize this so to add the test cases simply click on this more options here right and you can add the test cases from here or you can create a new one okay so either you click on this plus icon to create the folder or in the ellipses as well you will see that you have the option to create folder rename and delete folder right so if you want to rename if say for, for example by mistake you have done some mistake in naming these folder you want to change it then simply click on these ellipses and click on rename folder and rename the folder from here okay to delete simply click on delete folder highlight the folder that you want to delete and click on delete folder to delete that particular folder and simply confirm and the folder will be deleted okay you'll see folder google has been so now in order to add the test cases you can either drag and drop right or simply click on the ellipses and click on add tests okay so simply add tests and it will open the window right which is add test window and you can select the test that you want to add in the folder okay so we'll select two test cases and these two test cases are now added into the email folder okay so say for example these test cases are related to the email functionality of a login they have been added there now in the registration folder i want to add another test cases okay so i'll simply click on the ellipses and click on add test cases and then add all three okay let's see what happens okay you will see that now the test two test cases that we have added in the email folder are now all moved into the registration folder right so this is what this is what will happen if you try to add same test case into multiple folders that's not possible into the test repository a test can only remain in one particular repository one particular folder and repository is nothing but a hierarchical structure of organizing your test cases based on the functionality or say for example you don't want to do the functional uh, level you can create the folder for each sprint and for each sprint you organize your test cases in each of the sprint right so either ways you can specify or you can do that so for example in the repository you maintain the test cases based on the sprint and in the test set you have the different test set for different functionalities right or the regression test cases or you have a repository based on the functionality here like we have done here and then in the test set you create based on the sprint or the regression because your test case can belong to multiple test sets but not to the multiple test repository or the folder that you will create here so this is how you are going to add the test cases now if say so for example you want to remove these test cases right so you see that in the test repository always the test cases are there for the particular project so in order to remove i can simply drag and drop in the repository folder okay or wherever folder whichever folder i want if i want to move it to the root folder simply drag and drop to the root folder okay or if you simply right click you will see that you will get an option move to root which will move the test case from this particular folder wherever it is to the root folder okay and if you want to move these test cases say for example back to any of the folder go to the re test repository and then you can drag and drop these test cases into specific folders as well instead of adding them manually you can do the drag and drop functionality as well you can see that one test case has been added to the payments if so for example let me add this to the checkout so you'll see zero of three are in the root folder and all three test cases are moved to the different folders okay also if you see that the type of the test case is being displayed as well okay you will see this is the cucumber type this is the manual and this is the generic test type right so this is briefly how you are going to create the test repository add the folder add the folder hierarchy delete the folder rename the folder add test cases into different folders and man manage your test repository properly into jira okay now if you simply right click on any of the test case you will see that you will get a lot of shortcuts right here itself so for example if you go and view issues right you can it will open a jql query accordingly create a test set with tests so automatically say for example here we have let's say we we add two test cases here so we have two test cases in payment right so i can simply just say right click and then create test set with test so it will create a test set with these two test cases okay or i can add test to a test set so if i click on add test to a test set it will open open the test set window okay wherein we can add these test cases into this test set right so it, this is the test set that we have created and we can select these two test cases into this one test set right or there are multiple other options so create a test plan 
right which we'll cover in the test plan section or the execution which we'll cover in the execution section as well if you right click on that particular test cases you'll get something similar options okay so that's pretty much all about the test repository and how you are going to organize your test cases in different folder structure and the difference between test set and test repository in your project you will be using both and using both and taking the help of both functionalities will give you more um, flexibility and power in your test management usage or using the test uh, x-ray test management for your projects so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching